Hello, welcome back to Sarah and Jason play in Immortal Empires. And if you watched the end of the last one we did, you'll know that we ended right at a point where Jason is going to be fighting a battle against Skarsnik. So, without further ado, Jason, we're gonna watch and see how you can do. Let's see what you're working with here. So, it says that I win as Skarsnik. So we've got... It says Herc. that you win? I don't know. It says... It says that I win. Yeah, I don't know how... Like, I was just... Like, sometimes when um, it would happen before, it would show me the enemy's battle result. You know what I mean? I think that maybe happens if we're at war with each other. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, so it says close victory. So we've got Urk, Orc Boys, Night Goblin, Archers... So this, you're sieging a garrison. Is that what's happening here? I am sieging Carrick Eight Peaks. Right. And you wanted to fight this because it says you lose units or you just no. wanted to do it for fun? You keep saying that I need to fight on the map. Yeah, this is true. Got to see how Belligar does. Watch it go like see. awful and I like somehow lose. <laughs> so that would be hilarious. Regiment of Renown for the... Hammerers and Longbeards and Warriors. And you've got some great weapons. Nope. Quarrelers. Not great weapons? Shouldn't be. Your what Longbeards are, are the great weapons. No, not Longbeards, but Dwarf Warriors with great weapons? Nope, those are Longbeards. Oh, they're just regular Longbeards? Yep. Whoa. Why'd you take damage right off the, the bat? Because those two units were damaged when I was oh. playing Siege. I see. Okay. You and your freaking silver shield. It's gross. Dude, in a, in a position where I can... Belagar with a green, a green shield. <laughs> a green shield? <laughs> a green shield. What does that mean? <laughs> you know... It means poison. Oh my. Just stacking your guys one on top of each other there. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Okay, what's the best setup here? Do one like that. Uh, maybe I have these long beards on reserve. That look is disgusting. What are you talking about? Look at that melee defense. It's gross. It should be illegal. Spell resistance 62. Fire resistance Who? 15. Belgar. Holy Missile crap. resistance 30. That's Physical a lot resistance, of spell resistance. 25. Master Rune of Spite. Banner of Lost Holds. Wounds. Oh. Hide Forest. Encourage. Expert Charge Defense. Revenge Incarnate. Mighty Oath Stone. Okay, Deadly so their catapult onslaught. is not going to focus on. Belagar. Which is unfortunate because I don't really have much of a. It means. looks like they are. Oh, did they, they stop and shoot at him? Okay, good. He's a little bit too far forward. I want him to at least be within range of my own. Look at him waddling back. <laughs> my own archers. It doesn't make sense. Like, the cavalry is always like, we gotta go around. Oh, wait, there's a mountain. What are we gonna do? Well, I mean, it's not like they can go over the mountain. Oh, so you're... I see. You're going to fight battles on the map, but you're just going to fight them in super fast forward. What is this? Damage resistance plus 90%. What? Yeah, my biggest concern are the trolls. As they run away. Well, some of them made it. I, it's mainly because they're armor-piercing and they have a massive weapon strength. 
100 weapon strength. Yeah. That's nothing compared to your weapon strength, man. You have 692. Not my individual units. Well, no, but Belagar, now it's 760, now it's 647. No, I'm talking like if they make it to like my long beards and such. Catapult should be attacking those archers. Okay, pull back, draw their archers in a little bit. <laughs> their archers are doing nothing to the one ghost. Because he's well, ethereal yeah, and a silver shield. I mean, a gold shield. He's well, basically immune. They're, they've done some. He's down some. Like, he's taken like 20th damage. He's like 5% down. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, using this ability on their catapult is kind of a waste, but... Oh, yeah, you pushed them all down. Yep. Yeah, as long wow. as I focus on my heroes, it should be fine. This was this was exciting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Yeah, so I know, like, everybody talks about how they want us to fight each other, but if we're fighting each other it's just nothing's gonna happen because it's just gonna be two people corner camping nah if i'm gonna fight other. you i'm gonna have a different uh tactic don't do that different tactic i'll just have an army of 19 catapults wow that would be quite the army there yeah and you're you're corner camping and i just bombard you well i would defensive alliance with some people and I would put cavalry in my army and run down your catapult that's what you think so great now that you have Carrick 8 peaks Together I'm so Lincoln. doomed Just make an alliance with uh, Clan Moors or something. Why? Why would I do that? Because they don't like me. Yeah, but I don't like them. So that's not worth it. But the enemy of your enemy is your friend. No. I'd say that I, like, lore-wise, I hate Clan Moors more than I hate Belagar. I suddenly am making a lot of money. Oh yeah. How's that going? I jumped up to almost 6k income. Wow. Such income. Oh, Hi Kalita is being sieged by Varak Kara. Varak Kara. Classic. Classic. What should I do? What should I do? Master of Runecraft. I'm going. If you say so, Beardling. Maybe I should get a second 20 stack and take out those beastmen finally. Probably good. To battle? Yes. Hmm. Very well. I will do as you ask. Still, nobody wants to be my friend. Why would they want to be your friend? Avenge incarnate. 
Because I'm a nice guy. Nobody likes nice guys. Honor to your ancestors. Somebody's doing diplomacy. What? <laughs> no. Who would do that? That's ridiculous. The Golden Tower. Yeah, I don't think the settlement reorganizer works in uh, in multiplayer. Oh no. It's not letting me not not letting me actually do anything. Oh, I don't think I've ever used that mod. Says I could win this, but I lose a lot of units. Do it. It's a siege battle. I don't really want to fight a siege battle with the dwarves. Do it. Okay. On the map, though, it's much more in my favor. So I'm just uh, auto resolve that one. Feels nice to be home. <laughs> I don't like that you're home. You're too I close to me. Ugh. True king Ugh. Let's see here. My anger burns bright. Rune Lord, it's as good as done. Heading out. All right. What's the best way to develop? I wonder. Mm -hmm. I haven't looked at a lot of Ready. stuff that uh, I, uh, Thoric gets. I stand defiant. Like his Glory skills and stuff, I haven't really ever dug into it all that much. Lord of the Ambrun. Oh, I probably should have saved some of those for this building. Hmm. To do what to do. Give up. I'd no. rather eat a squeak. You can't make me. If I manage to take Estalia, that would put me in an overwhelmingly advantageous geographical position. Welcome to Estalia. I would just like to get rid of Kalita so that I can go to those places and get those stupid artifacts. You should have done that 50 turns ago. We aren't even on turn 50, are we? I don't even know yeah. what turn we're on. We're probably on, like, turn 48. I'm going to say 46. I think we're past 46. Oh. 
Because we started on turn 45. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I should have known. Oh, great. 48. Oh, great. Vashnar just showed up. Stupid Vashnar. I'm going to lose basically all the territory that I took from the, the green skins because I, I didn't do anything to build it up. Although, Greetings, hey Thorgrim, you want a ally. settlement that I can't maintain? <laughs> that I can't maintain? Where's this? No, I'm not giving you that one. Okay, well, well that'll that'll do for now. Oh, I need to make this a tier 3 building before I can do that. Ah. <laughs> oh, you're at war with a lot of people. What? Goodness. No, I'm not at war with anybody. I'm a pacifist. Wow, you're strength rank 17 and I'm number 44. Weak. Weak. Really? Do you have three armies yet? Siege that. Um, Lord of Clan Morgrim. I've basically got two armies. My growth is so slow, I'm like super behind on the stuff that I can get in my army. Oh yeah, I, I generally don't develop my military buildings very very much as dwarves. Thank I'm you. Angry. You idiots. That's not very nice. Beast beastmen are people too. Stupid people. <laughs> Really? I win that? Are you sure? Are you absolutely sure I win that game? Because I don't know if that's true. Uh-oh, not Vashnar. Yes, Vashnar. Ah, oh, it's a stupid siege battle. I'm not fighting that. I'll just come take him out with Thorgrim. Or not Thorgrim. Oh, he just sacked it. What a butthead. He. <laughs> I hate rogue armies. They're so annoying. Yeah, I, I would not begrudge a mod that removes rogue armies. I think not. What to do? What to do? Are you replenished yet? Good enough. Well, there goes my army. Uh oh, green skins. You're doing the quest battle? Against the generic. Green skins? Sly crooked ain't generic. I mean, the green tide is pretty generic. Sly crooked is the most powerful green skin ever. I don't think so. His army looks pretty weak. He's the Sigmar of green skins. That's, that's not true. Not true at all. He's pretty insane. Better let me set up my army game. The lost vault of Anglund is within reach. Are we going to let these uh, trespassers get away with their sneaky shenanigans? Do we let them steal the treasure and valuables which belong to the Angrun clan by right? No! We do not! 
Let the grudge be settled. Let vengeance begin. Yar. I feel like most of the time when I do quest battles, they don't let me set up, but this time they did. So we'll do you him there. We'll do you him there. We'll do him there. We'll do him a little bit further back. I love how it just put like two the random. Oh, your rangers out in front. Are they vanguard? They are, but I'm not going to put them that far up. To the forge. Roots thrower. And then we'll have you guys just in case Kazook. face a bunch of different directions. Long beards for the ancestors. Once again, they're like, we're not going to be able to watch the action. Yeah. Wow, I love your formation there. That's real nice. Yeah. <laughs> like all good armies, the archers are the front line. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. Yeah, let's do it. Ready to fight. If possible, I'd like to move everyone up a little bit. That'll do. You're not going to have enough time. No, nah, that'll do. Maybe I'll do this ability. Like that. They have a giant! Come at me. Just send Beligar in alone. The giant's like, I don't care about Beligar. I'm gonna go right into the archers, man. Oh, now he's confused. Okay, now he's... He's like, how did that little guy get past me? <laughs> this isn't even fair, man. I don't think Belgar's okay. Belgar has taken some damage. Like in reality, this is not how a fight goes. <laughs> this is not at all how a fight goes, it is. man. It is. It's not. Yeah. It's not at all. No. Uh oh, Morgler one fingers coming. Oh yeah, I figured there'd be some other people coming in here or something. The army was too small to have it for that to just be them. I love that it's like they attack from the flank and it's like, uh, I don't think that's your flank though. That's my front line. Okay, so the front's basically all good. Let's just have everybody start looking in other directions. My rangers are a bit too loose, but it's whatever too loose like they're not compact enough so they're like long uh oh i see that should be enough firepower to handle the edges are you guys shooting at belagar for are you for real here I'll, I'll let him stand perfectly still go ahead shoot him shoot him is he taking any damage no <laughs> Well, they he's don't taking do, no damage. They don't do armor pierce. Oh, he's taking some. He took oh, two. He took two yeah. Three. He took three. Yeah. So basically, when they do get past his armor, they do one damage. Yikes. Yikes. Uh, Frontline's still Those doing Those trolls okay. back there are like, we don't want to go in there. Have you guys still... I'll have the rangers still sh fight forward at least. Maybe I'll have my hero come in and actually join the battle. Under 
Back up a little bit. I think they're probably gonna mass route here in a bit. Yeah, probably. Their numbers are dwindling. Oop. One of them got through. Nope, they routed. They're broken, but they're running right into the back of your long beards. Yeah. Excuse us, coming through. The quickest, Move, the quickest we... route to, to safety is through the enemy. <laughs> Look at him. Your guys are like, what the heck are you guys doing? The guy in the back's like, let me through, let me through, let me come through. Guys, wait for me. Okay, fine, I'll just whack you. Who else? Oh, he's standing and fighting. His guys are running away, but he's standing and fighting. He's popping you on the head. I have to Who? This guy in your long beards. He's bonking you. Oh. Who the heck? <laughs> the rest of them have rounded, but he's just... What? He's just standing there. <laughs> no, they're coming man. back. They're coming back. Oh, are they? Okay. They're like, wait, Walter! Walter, what are you thinking, man? You can't take him on by yourself. Dang it, Walter. <laughs> They're really persistent. Yeah, they are. Belagar has taken, like, no damage. Can you imagine if he had regeneration? Yeah, no, he shouldn't have regeneration. I need that to go find Vlad. No, that shouldn't be a thing. I need to go find Vlad. No. Because then I can just get rid of his whole army and I can just leave him. That's not, that's not, no. That's not okay. That's not okay with me. This guy over here is not, they're not even attacking. They're just like Your standing archers, way out of my range. There. Yeah. They're like, well, we can't win this <laughs> fight. <laughs> but we won't lose. You can't lose if you don't participate. I'll just have him go out on his own. Yeah, have him go against the squigs. That's a comical sight. Also, Night Goblin Squig Hoppers are the funniest little things in the world. Look at him go! Oh my gosh! <laughs> They're so funny! Slow-mo. <laughs> Look at their mouth go! Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> like, Goblin Squig Hoppers are like the Hawk Riders for the Wood Elves. It's like, they're both the same size, so it shouldn't work. Okay, they have a unit somewhere that is not routed or broken, and it has stock, and I don't know where it is. It says zero out of 2015 on the thing. Oh, does it? Thing. Yeah. Well, then why is the battle not over? I don't know. Huh. Maybe they have to all run off the map. Oh, because that one unit isn't shattered. It's just broken. Did that end it? <laughs> is it bugged? No, I'm telling you, I think they probably have like a a stock unit somewhere. Oh, there it is. Ah! Gar Snag. Gar Snag hasn't taken any damage. <laughs> He's just been stalking the whole time. Stinking Gar Snag. Also, I love that it says that there's two, zero out of 2015. There we go. I knew there was somebody somewhere. Oh, your two heroes really pulled their weight that one. Yeah, I didn't even take them into combat. Jeez. Stop. I just this had them just sitting flex. back. You're just flexing on me right now. I am curious if your army and my army collided, what would happen? Well, my army is not in a place right now where I'm ready to fight. Like, I, I need to do some reworking to it. My army is pretty hodgepodge. I need to get more iron drakes. Oh, that would be interesting. I do like iron drakes. With torpedo troll hammers. Revenge so what does this quest item even do for me? Yeah. Oh, that wasn't the quest item. Okay. This is the quest item. Oh, that's not bad. 
That's not bad. It's uh, it's not bad. It's ooh, so they're ooh. Ooh, I got the good regiments of renown now. I stand defiant. Oh, I got the good ones. Get rid of. Oh, who do I get? Who do I get rid of for that? Get rid of you. Lord of the Ungern. To get you. And. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll have to think on that one. I don't know. Because those are the good, the really good regiments of renown. Very well. Are they expensive? It's the uh, Iron Breaker and uh, Flamethrower uh, regiments of renown. Hi. Oh, the Nor Grimlings, or maybe mine have a different name. Mine are Nor Grimling Iron Breakers. Yeah, I got them. I don't get the flaming. I don't get the flaming one. I mean, you do eventually. I only have long beard, great weapons, hammers, and I can't see now. I don't have... Oh, what, is it a flaming infantry unit? It's the, um... It's what Gyro you, bomber? No, it's what you just said, but not the torpedoes. They're the... Iron drakes? Yeah. Oh. The flamethrower iron drakes. I thought you were talking about the flame cannons. No, 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 no. The flamers, whatever they're called. Yeah, I probably can't win that battle. Step forth, true friend. Wow, seriously? For real. I mean... You're fighting it? Yeah, because this says I lose a whole bunch of guys. Um. Yeah, it's probably because he's got like dragons and armor piercing cavalry and armor piercing infantry. He's got a lot of armor piercing. Yep. I hate rogue armies. Battle of Karagorod. Are your quarrelers armor piercing yet? I don't know. Must not be. What makes them armor piercing? Thoric skills. Oh, no, I guess not. No. I don't know how to play Thoric. I'm telling you, Thoric can make uh, Quarrelers ridiculous. Well, I was specking into the Quarreler line. Yeah. What level is he? 18? Yeah. You've got access to his unique skills now, right? Yeah. Yeah. But I was I was specking into the red line for them, too. How many though? That only takes like four skill points. Yeah, but I had gone the blue line to get lightning strike and stuff. Uh, I, I have not bothered with lightning strike as Belagar. No. Yeah, I I feel like Belagar's army is good enough at the moment. Good old Chaos Knights, Cold One Dread Knights. Huh. There is no room for weakness in 
these guys. Chosen with halberds, yep. Normal chosen. They're so spiky. I feel like some of the spikes on those shields would actually be detrimental to the wielder more than the enemy. Yeah, probably. Oh, these guys don't even have helmets. That's not safe. Their axes Who doesn't have are helmets? huge. The great weapon chaos warriors. Oh. They've got massive axes, but they ain't got no helmets. Dragons. Vashnar himself. Run, 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 run. Go, 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 go. Hurry up, guys. Hurry up, little dwarf guys. But the enemy has artillery, too. They're going to shoot you down. I know. I don't know what to do about that, but can't be helped. Can't be helped. He's not going to come, is he? Who's attacking who? I, I attacked them. Oh, my reinforcement show showed up. Yeah, he might not attack if you are the aggressor. I think for the Dwarf Warriors, there are only three different variations of beards yeah I'm only seeing three different beards there's like a dark brown beard there's kind of like a a light brown I guess I don't know if there's a better color for that and then one that's almost like it's almost like tannish I don't know what color that's supposed to be a lighter lighter brown maybe so like I don't know what to do about this I don't have anybody fast enough to send out there just sacrifice your garrison. Yes, I could. Sacrifice the miners. They're gonna take so long. They're going in practically single file almost. <laughs> well, they're doing the whistle while you work. Do -do 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 -do. I would like to point out though that Pickaxes have a times four crit, so. Yeah, but their attack modifier is like a plus two. Some of them have hammers, though. These aren't even pickaxes. Look at their little backpacks. There's th there's three different types of weapons. There's like a double-headed pickaxe, a single-headed pickaxe, and then a hammer with a sort of pseudo pickaxe on the other end. Yeah. Yeah. That's almost like an Earthbreaker. Yeah. Isn't that what an Earthbreaker is? I wonder if most units have, like, three variations or not. Can like you imagine how tired you would sky. be? Whoa. I'm what? looking underneath the map. I don't know what? why there's water down there. Whoa, that's the edge of the world. Anyways, some people died while I wasn't watching. Oh, did they? Yeah, because of the catapults. Oh, your single file is working real, real poorly with this, uh, where are you going? They're, they're not following me. They're not coming after me. Well, no, you have to deal damage. You can't just move close to them. I'll just... Yeah, oh, they'll send, they'll send like two units unless you do some damage to them. <laughs> routed. That one unit routed like immediately. Well, they're still not going to come after me. Yeah, you have to like deal damage to them. Like they're well, they're not going to come at you if you can't. Deal I tried to deal damage.
I don't know why they're moving in single file. I did not put them in single file. Did I push a button that made them single file? I don't know. You're the one controlling them, not me. I'm not doing any damage to them. Not enough. You'd have to, like, hit oh, them with something. Sake. Oh, my goodness. I am hitting them with something. No, like, something substantial. You told me to sacrifice my garrison. Yeah, I meant the whole garrison, not just the miners. Oh. <sighs> Either that or move your whole army up so that your catapult can start hitting them. Well, you know, at least I'm wasting their Reaper Bolt ammo. <laughs> yeah, usually in situations like this, I get, like, Thoric, and I run him up and do, like, Wrath of Ruin, and then I try to speed back real quick. Speed back, yeah, with his 30 speed. Yeah. The Chosen almost have more speed than I do. I mean, if he gets caught, then, you know, that's, that's life. Those miners are like, turn them back, guys, turn back. Well, they running. They going, they going. Running over the bodies of their fallen brethren. It's horrible. So horrible. Oh, man. Warhammer's rough, man. Well, they yeah. only have three more shots with their two more shots. This is real exciting for everybody watching. <laughs> yeah. Oh, now they brought their dragon in. Kill the dragon. If you kill the dragon, that'll bring him out. Yeah, right. Now they're moving. Yeah, see, now they're like, oh, we're actually being attacked. What a threat. <laughs> yeah, your garrison will all die, but that it's fine. was as intended. It is the Skaven way. Yeah. They died with honor and glory. Not really, but... I don't want it to go too fast. Why not? Why are they turning around? Ah! That one dragon's coming at you. Yeah. I feel like I should not have my catapult shoot at the dragon. No, probably not. Your archers can shoot at the dragon, but... Yeah. Look at those blood effects. Wow. Hanging off of it, because the hitbox is wider than its body. Dead. I wish there wasn't friendly fire. I know. Iron breakers look freaking cool, though. Like, have you looked at what the iron breakers are like close up? Yeah. They're cool. They are cool beans. Oh, that's the dragon shadow. Going after your uh, rune smith. All right, another dragon corpse. I wonder what their eyes are made of to glow like that. They're made of gemstones. I... I doubt it. Yeah, your catapult should not be firing at that. I'm, not, I'm trying not to get it to fire at them. I thought I hit the button to make it... Ugh! Stupid.
It's gonna be firing at your melee guys again. I hate artillery. It's all dumb. You gotta pick your targets. They're all so dumb. All right, so and you can also make it so it doesn't fire at will. I know. Uh, here come the big boys, the I shielded know. armored cavalry. A cheeky side toss from the Iron Breakers there. Cheeky. It's unnecessary number of arrows. There's so many arrows that uh, they're not all loading at once. Yeah. Oh goodness, that's a blob. It's a blob of cavalry, big cavalry. I know, I know. Those horses are so big. <sighs> Your dwarves are like literal children compared to those horses. I know. I know. Shoot the Wathox. Thorax over there, like, where is everybody? Your archers are so close that some of them can't fire, I think. Are so close. Like they're crammed up on each other and I think it's obstructing oh. their line of sight. Oh, a couple good hits and you'll be able to put down Vashnar. He's at 105 HP. Oh, he's at oh, 9 HP. 9 HP. <laughs> yeah, that's a direct hit. Kill Ox. Yeah, you'll be way, way better off once you get armor piercing missiles for your Quarrelers. That'll be big. Yeah, I didn't realize that was a thing. Oh, 100%. That's like 90% of why Thorax good with them. Because he <sighs> gives armor piercing to like the base tier unit. Dude, those halberds. They wrecked me. But that's probably the one that went up against my garrison. Yeah, oh, yeah and the Reaper probably. Bolt, they killed all my garrison too. Yeah. Yeah, of the garrison, I had 171 remaining. They're like, you entrusted us to protect this place, and then you threw us to the wolves. Yep. Are Thorax Quarrelers better than, like, Meow Ying's Celestial Dragon Crossbowmen? Um. Hard to say. I almost want to say yes because they are a tier one unit and or maybe a tier two unit, I don't know. And uh, the Dragon Guard, like you need a tier five building to get those. Gotcha. So like if you had a unit of Skaven Slaves that could go toe to toe with like Chaos Chosen. I'd say that the Skaven Slaves are the better unit, because they're so ridiculously cheap compared to the Chosen. I'm going. Oh shoot, that's not what I meant to do at all. Oh. Okay, Custom well now goes. my Quarrelers are armor piercing. <laughs> so, that's, that's been taken care of. Cool. You have my hammer. It shall be done. Okay, so now...
What do we got here for options? E you don't really care about that. I'll have this guy as just like a, I guess, support, mostly. Rune or Reke. If you say so, Beardling. Anybody want to give me money? Nobody wants to give me money. Yes. Why does everybody hate me? I don't understand. I haven't done anything to you guys. Have you done anything worth not hating? No. I mean... Well... No? Yes? That's, no? That's probably why. Oh my goodness, he's going to be so difficult to kill. The Belligar? Yeah. You don't have to rub it in, I know. Cuz I'm I'm getting him some upgrades. Some rune upgrades. Rune upgrades. Get some upgrades for his army too. Oh, I see your settlements down there. Sartosa. How are you seeing Sartosa? I don't know, but I can see Sartosa. Like, Sartosa is nowhere near where you are. But I can see across the channel. Actually, I have Gorgazan, which is not that far away from it. So. Belgar now has, uh, you know, a gold shield, so 75%. Missile block from that. He has 186 armor now. 99 melee defense. Oh yeah, well Thoric has 205 armor, so take that. Yeah, Thoric. He uh, he can max out his armor. Real easy. I don't. What is the max armor? I almost died having to cough there. I yeah, I mean, I think it picked up in my mic, but that's fine. <laughs> it is what it is. So, uh, 200. Oh, yeah. Because anytime you take damage, it is reduced by anywhere from 50 to 100% of your armor value. So if your armor is 200, then worst case scenario, it's 100%. So if you don't do armor piercing and somebody has 200 armor, they just don't take damage? You would always take the minimum of one. Oh, gotcha. This guy is really getting on my nerves. <sighs> okay, now what to do? What Repons, to do? What are you doing? Master of Runecraft. Raponce does what Raponce wants to do. Raponce is in my territory. Yeah. She's got stuff to do in your territory. I don't think she does. I will say if she takes Myrmidon, Myrmidons, I will declare war on her. Why? Because I want it. Well, why don't you take it? I'm kind of busy with this stupid rogue-ish army. So, this is so frustrating to me because, like, right now in my non-aggression pact, like, the factions I have the best likelihood of success with are, like, Clan Moors and the Skull Takers. Those are not the people that I want to... Oh, you do another quest battle? Yeah. What? Why don't you want, uh... What? Why don't you want them in your, uh... Policy? Holy crap, he's got so many armies. Whoa. Oh my. Well, it's because it's talking about all the reinforcement. Whoa. Whoa. Wonderful. You got reinforcements. Oh, oh my. Interesting. interesting. Do you get to take control of the reinforcements? Oh. I've got no idea. The stunty smashes. <laughs> Spinny face smasher. Oh, this is a map. Wow. Yes, my 
Lincoln. Today is a great day. Today we kill Urx. Today is vengeance. Even now when Throng from Karakazel approaches the green filth from the rear, we are honored to drink the Orcs from the front. Let them face our might. Let them see what Dawi of the Angron clan are made of. Indeed. There's so much racism in, in Warhammer, it's so, really bad. <laughs> nah. Let the vengeance begin! They have wronged us! I would not be surprised if somebody attacks from behind, given how many reinforcements I saw. <laughs> yeah. So I'll actually have my heroes in the back this time. These, your reinforcements have a lot of artillery. Good. They also have thunderers. I don't know why they've set their thunderers up like that. Oh, are they turning to fight the uh, other guys? Okay. Apparently. They've got a nice blob for their grudge throwers. Yeah. Vengeance what are you calls. doing? What are you doing? Go get them, Belagar. Usually, they can't. Usually, greenskins don't get that dragon unless you're Azhag. Azhag? Uh, I think. Uh, a number, I think the uh, dwarf, not dwarf, the green skin, like, orc boss lords can get wyvern mounts. Oh, can they? Yeah. Uh oh. They're approaching from their rear! No, oh, no! Their artillery's gonna be taken out by the. Yeah, maybe they should turn around. Belagar's got this. hoppers. Oh, they're trolls. Oh, Belagar they has got this. We'll leave it to him. So you're not controlling those other guys? The other army? Yeah. No, they're uh, AI, and I can't give nice. them to you. Oh no, I don't need them. War of vengeance. So this is in the underway? Looks like it. Just, just like the green skin underway? It's neat, because it looks like they've taken dwarf architecture and like ruined it. Their night goblins just used their one melee special ability and did way too much damage to their own unit. Nice. Spinny face smasher's going for your corollers. Oh no, he's going for your hero. That's weird. Cast all the and buffs. And then immediately breaking. Oh my goodness, <laughs> look at Belgar's stats when I have all of my active buffs on. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's that's pretty bad. He's a fast little boy. Yes! The other the other army is breaking. Well, yeah, cuz they didn't turn around like I told them to. I I told them Belagar's got this. You you didn't yell loud enough. Oh, their thunderers are shooting right into their own warriors. <laughs> wow. Yeah. I guess I can uh, start moving my army up a little bit here. Belagar has arrived get... to assist you. There's reinforcements coming from the side. Oh no! Everybody, slow down. <laughs> Turn around. Luckily, I did not get too far forward. That would have been really funny if you got all the way up there and then they came at the sides and got your core. That would be pretty from funny. Yeah. That would be quite comical. Look at that. Very blue. Just like two buds, Skolf and Belagar. Except Skolf is fighting back not to very back. Good at directing his army. Outnumbered, but not wavering. Belgar's gotten uh, quite a number of kills. Does your rune do damage to friendlies? Nah, that would make it useless. 
Uh oh, Belagar's leadership's only 95. What? On mine it says 114. It went up. It went up like right away. Flank exposed, attacking the flank. Well, no, yeah, because you, cause you're on your own, man. <laughs> Frightened That's by funny. enemy unit. <laughs> Who's scaring you? Which unit is scaring you? Is it the trolls because they have fear? Oh, come on, Belagar. They, you're not scared of them. Belagar's scared? Yeah, because they technically cause fear and he doesn't have like an immunity to fear. It just It's a penalty <laughs> to leadership. <laughs> Okay, can I move my units up again now? Or so I love, I love the uh, the goblin artillery, the doom diver catapults. I think those are so funny. They're really good. I like that unit. That's, that's it's a very literally cool just unit. kamikaze. So funny. And I imagine that's. It, except Icky. Icky is holding on there. Icky! Icky! He's shattered now. Yeah. I believe I have all of my quest items now. Woohoo! I lost two, I lost two guys. Then that other army did not do very good because that night goblin unit, the, their night goblins did really well. Yeah, I feel like Stop, most of those kills were smashes. friendly. Your artillery out damaged Belagar. Maybe not out damaged, but yeah, out Yeah, I was going to say, did it out damage or just out kill? Out killed, probably. I'll have to see what the damage numbers are, because most of his damage doesn't count as kills. Because usually it just brings the health really low and then something else comes along to kill it. 24k versus 22k, so no, he's, he out damaged the artillery still. Nice. Oh, I didn't. I wanted to see what that item gives me. What is it? Where is it? Equipment. Ward save. Okay, yeah, I needed that. Melee defense. Yep, needed more of that. Armor. Yep, yep. Chance of intercepting in the underway. Okay. What's his armor at now? 194. So close. It's so moderately close. decent. Let's get that Dowie firepower. Uh-oh, my grudges are at angry. Oh, I'm surprised it's taken this long for that to happen. They must have really nerfed how quickly those uh, <laughs> must be. go up. Must be. I believe it is time for Belagar to start expanding away from Carrot Big Peaks. Well, you're gonna have to do it next time. Nope. Because yeah, this is our last turn. It's the, I'm it's doing the last it right turn. now. No, no, you can't. You can't do that right now. The Cult Maybe. of Sigmar declared war on the Bowmen of Orion. That's funny. Maybe I just don't end my turn. How about that? That's uh, that's one way to do it, I guess. Yeah. I've got so much oath gold now. This turn's gonna take forever. Ah. I serve the Lady of the Lake. Carcassonne. Naturally. Okay, so that's it for that. Now for runes. Who's taking a long turn now? Yeah, I told you I was going to. Oh, how the turns have tabled. Turn tables have turned. So we'll get that one. We'll put that on my one ghosty guy to make him. Uh, we can get this one too, why not? And then we'll get that one as well. Don't mind me, as I just take all the time in the world. <laughs> I, so the master rune of flight, I've never liked that rune. I don't really know what, uh, what good it is, personally speaking. 
but it's like up there is one of the more expensive ones. And I'm like, eh, it's not really that great. I haven't really dug too much into my Forge stuff. I feel like I'm so behind on this campaign. Like, I need to get those stupid artifacts. <laughs> but it's like, as soon as I leave, there's an enemy that shows up and I don't have anybody to to fight them. So Thoric has to trudge his way all the way back. Yeah. You need uh, another army. I'm getting there. Right now, I need to switch out some units with Thoric, though. So which of these things is the better one? Okay, so this guy. Oh, yeah. We could make this guy do some stuff. So make his weapon strength higher. Make his armor piercing higher. 97 melee attack. Yeah. 97 magical frostbite armor piercing melee attack. Yeah. That'll do. Do some growth over there. And I'm done. More people are going to watch your POV videos for this than mine. Yeah, probably. That's sad. I don't know what happened to Kalita. She was being sieged by Krokgar. But she still has that territory. And I haven't seen her army. Like, she's sandwiched in between me and Krokgar, so I don't know what happened to her. Unless Krokgar, like, killed her army and then just sacked her territory and didn't actually take it. Maybe. Wurzag's starting to come up at me now, so I'll have to... Oh, oh. Nakari has the Sword of Cain. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> I'm sure that won't be bad for the High Elves. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, on that note, we're going to call it there. Turn 52 with Jason being the obvious dominator right now. But now that I have Iron Piercing... Uh, iron, iron Piercing? piercing. Armor Piercing... Quarrelers, I'm gonna, I'm gonna I didn't pick know up you some had steam. Iron piercing quarrelers. Iron piercing. So if your armor is steel, I'm in trouble. But oh, they're not steel piercing. They're just iron piercing. I know. That's what I'm saying. I'm in trouble. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Yeah, because I yes. only pierce iron. But I anyway, gotcha. hope you enjoyed that one. Let us know your thoughts and come back and see us in the next one.